I know Steve, the co-owner of the Celtics. I know Steve, uh, the guy who helped build uh, Bain Capital to its heights. I, um, I think of Steve, though, as my colleague and partner on, this, on the baseline uh, as we question the refs' calls and cheer for our players as they take that last second three. He's always about other people. He never puts himself first. And Steve was the one who led our thinking in terms of what we could do in the charitable community, and that's why he's the head of the Shamrock Foundation. MSPCC's job is to prevent child abuse, and so a lot of our work to keep kids safe is to work on our families, and that's what Steve is all about. He shows up, he gets down on the floor, he gets into the amusement rides, he really gets right down to their eye level um, and really tries to connect with them. There was this one little girl that I remember because she had these really big eyes and she had these ponytails and she just lit up a room. And Steve kind of looked at her and nudged me and said, you know, what's her story? So I delicately talked about, um, you know, that she was in foster care and then one would be removed from foster care um, primarily because of abuse by a caretaker. And Steve paused and said, um, is she gonna be okay? So when I say to Steve, days like this, where you show up, you do what you say you're gonna do, means so much. I think that's what makes a difference for Steve. I think Steve and his wife Judy uh, exemplify it just comes from the heart, it's authentic. Um, he doesn't think twice about giving, that's what they do. I think he sees them as leaders, as individuals who have been very, very fortunate, and if you're fortunate, it's your responsibility to give back. So Vaxis is working uh, to create the next generation of vaccines that are not only more protective, but more importantly, uh, easily delivered to people around the world. The Pataluka Harvard Life Lab has really been instrumental in helping us go from an interesting idea and an academic concept into what I would consider to be more of a real company. Uh, so we moved into the, the Life Lab about a year and a half ago. We had about eight employees. We had raised some small amounts of financing. And in the year and a half we've been here, we've added uh, somewhere between eight and nine million dollars in financing, much of that coming from the Gates Foundation. And I think the other thing, uh, you know, about the Paliukas that struck me is, is, you know, their interest here was really in genuinely understanding what the companies were doing and, and trying to think about how they could positively impact those companies to help them move things forward. I've worked with a lot of people in about a 30-year business career. Um, Steve stands out at the very top of the heap in terms of empathy, really caring for others. He's always thinking, he's always thinking about other people. It's a really special quality and you don't find it that often. I think what people can learn from Steve is that it doesn't really matter what you say, it matters what you do and maybe more important, how you treat other people. That's Steve's mantra is how can I help? That's what Steve does. Congratulations, Steve. Well deserved, uh, and we really appreciate the amazing support over the years. You should be very proud. I'm proud to be your partner. Nice job. MSPCC and the kids and the families we serve have been so fortunate for your leadership. And they may never have an opportunity to thank you themselves, but from the bottom of my heart and an organization that has benefited greatly from your leadership, thank you and congratulations.